Hey, what's up with it guys? Hey, welcome back to another video. Now, this is going to be a quick one regarding another alternative to a uh, hunter, marksman hunter burst uh, opener type uh, rotation here and a setup. Now, uh, these are the talents that I'm running. You can see here the ones worth noting is Hunter's Mark. I think everyone's kind of running double tap, so I don't think that's really too big a surprise. Lock and load, and I'm also running Sniper Shot. Now, when it comes to my Azerite traits, I'm just using an engineering helm for now. I've been kind of messing with this, so nothing Hunter specific there, but I'm running Focus Fire on my shoulders and on my chest. Um, now, for the burst, I do think the Focus Fire setup is arguably going to be one of the most bursty traits that we have since the alternative used to be steady aim and we're not really using steady shots as much um, that that trait kind of loses its value not to mention with the changes in lethal shots however the general way that this setup this build kind of works is that sniper shot from everything i've been able to tell testing is affected by the damage increase on hunter's mark so is our aim shot obviously so is our cane shot and so is rapid fire so even though streamline does give us that increased duration of the rapid fire itself the actual damage done by all our other abilities is not affected by that streamline talent and so in this situation the burst that we're getting from sniper shot uh, aim shot arcane shot is all going to be affected by that five percent bonus damage um, so the way that this opener is going to go out of stealth is I'm going to apply Hunter's Mark while I'm stealth. I'm going to go ahead and double tap. I have been messing with actually casting True Shot before I cast my Sniper Shot so that that way I don't have to wait for that global cooldown in between the two. Um, and so that's basically the opener. And then I go, you know, Arcane Shot and or Rapid Fire after that, depending on the situation. But uh, so again, I'm going to go out of stealth, apply Hunter's Mark. I'm going to double tap. I'm going to True Shot. I'm going to uh, sniper shot, and then I'm going to go ahead and aim shot into rapid fire into burning my precise shot stacks in arcane shots. And then you can continue the aim shot, rapid fire, arcane shot kind of combination uh, through the balance of your true shot if you need that additional damage. Uh, so here, I'll show you guys here. So me being stealth here, these guys ignore the dueling guys in front of me, but we're going to go apply our hunter's mark. So I'm going to go double tap into true shot, into sniper shot into aim shot, into rapid fire, arcane shot, arcane shot, and then we can go back into it. But you can see here, I'm at like the ballpark of like 35, 30, 35,000 DPS. Now, given this is on a target dummy, um, you know, so that's gonna obviously scale different in PVP situations, but that's a huge burst opener when it comes to seagull target. Now in PVE, we're not gonna have sniper shot, so it's gonna be a little bit changed as well, but Hopefully you guys kind of get the idea and can play with it. Now, um, kind of like what I was mentioning here, you can see how big of a chunk of our damage is aim shot, arcane shot, sniper shot, all of that damage being increased by 5% because of the hunter's mark. Um, so I do think there's going to be viability to kind of options between these specs. Um, I do think streamline is still going to be viable, but I wanted to kind of show you guys, uh, this kind of set up this burst opener. Uh, one other thing I wanted to point out is I had someone comment on a video once, um, like a week or so ago, right after 8.1, where it looks like True Shot is breaking you out of camouflage. Now, visually, your character look does not look stealth, but you still do have the stealth debuff. So even though you're popping True Shot in your camo while, and then you cast like Sniper Shot, for example, none of that is actually popping you out of stealth. It looks kind of like your character goes out of the, the Cloak of the Shadows type thing. Um, but you still do have that stealth debuff. So I just want to point that out because someone didn't mention that uh, in a previous video, but that doesn't seem to be the case. So anyways, again, that rotation, Hunter's Mark into Double Tap, into True Shot, into Sniper Shot, Aim Shot, Rapid Fire, Arcane Shot, Arcane Shot. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are having success with this, what kind of combinations you guys are running, especially when it comes to arenas. I really am curious. Um, I'm going to be posting some arena content here very soon. Uh, so keep an eye out for that as well as some more uh, battleground gameplay. So on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.